Okay, it's Luxury Fred, and I thought that this was a good place to show the craziness, the energy of Japan. I am in Tokyo Station in Tokyo at rush hour, and as you can see, there's a lot of people here. Going to a lot of different places. taking a personal walking tour of Tokyo and uh, we started at the Four Seasons in Marunouchi, Marunouchi and now we are walking through Akihabara which is the nerd they call it the nerd village or something like that and this is where all the electronic stores and all the anime stores and things like that are and uh, kind of crazy everything is like Sega and characters outside and things like that and uh, yeah, it's fascinating uh, exploring the city my friends that were on this uh, press trip suggested this it's about a two mile itinerary that goes through central Japan some people are camera shy here from uh, where I started in Marinucci uh, all the way to Wayne, oh, wait, no. So I've already walked through Kanda and some of the other neighborhoods. Okay, the subway. This will help me buy a ticket, so hopefully I'm going to get back to Tokyo Station. It's supposed to be four stops from here. I started at Oweno Station. Okay, it's Luxury Fred, and again, I am here in Tokyo, Japan, and this is my very first taxi ride in Tokyo. So far, it's very nice, very good. And uh, we just finished our official press trip here at the Daiichi Hotel, Tokyo Seafort, and now we're heading to the Shangri-La. And my first taxi ride in Tokyo, and we are headed from the Tokyo Seafort area into more central Tokyo and headed towards the Shangri-La Tokyo for my stay there, which I'm very excited about. Okay, so sure my foodie tour of Japan was a lot of fun, but now it's time to get serious about some luxury here in Tokyo. And I am here at the beautiful, the fabulous Shangri-La, Tokyo, in the Marinucci area, which is kind of the downtown financial district. And look at the views from the room. Spectacular. We are on the 36th floor here at the Shangri-La Hotel Tokyo, and they tell me that's an iconic Tokyo Tower over there, but just look at this city. Look at all the buildings. Wow. Pretty amazing. So let me give you a quick tour of my Horizon Club view room here at the uh, Shangri-La Tokyo. Have a nice big bed. Nice curved couch along the window where I will be relaxing later and enjoying that view. Got our little uh, desk and workspace here. and the So we just checked into the Tokyo Shangri-La yeah, and we're Shangri looking at these little gifts yeah, that we have is... here. These are traditional Japanese rice cookies, rice cakes, crackers, yeah. rice crackers. And there's a little explanation in there. And then this is like a Japanese closet. Yeah, and inside we have some delicious snacks and chocolates and cookies and things like that. Okay. And then hidden under there, it looks like some fruit. Very cool Bose surround sound system. Nice big TV. Something cool. You are on display in the bathroom. Look at the window. So this is looking through the window into the big soaking bathtub. And we have this enormous shower with a nice big rain shower head up there. 
and take you in there. I got a mini bar over here, closets over here, a little foyer entry area over here, toilets behind there, and of course this is Japan. So we have a super complicated fancy, oh wait, this will open automatically. Oh, hello. See, knows I'm here. And then we have this advanced Japanese control panel to control the toilet which has all kinds of wands that come out and see that's your butt and that indicates what it's going to do to your butt see that You're like sitting on a fountain and also the seat is heated which is nice and power deodorizer for stinky people and then this is the uh, vanity area here and then this is the ginormous shower again lovely soaking tub there and then the other half of this chamber is this enormous shower with a uh, rain shower head that concludes my tour of my room here at the Shangri-La thanks for watching and click on the link above for the full detailed tour